Hello everyone. I've had this sitting here for a bit. Wanted to share it in a kind of haul video because it's super, super cute. And anyone who knows me or has followed me from some time, for some time knows I have a soft spot for Doodlebug. So this is Doodlebug's um, Christmas Magic release. This is only part of it. I didn't get everything. Shocker, I know. Um, I think there was like more washi tapes. There was a bunch of those Doodle Pops 3D stickers, which I should have just ordered, but I'd, all I do is hoard them. I never use them because whatever. I was just thinking before I started filming this that um, I'm, I've always been big about like, just use use it up, use your stuff, use your things. There's always gonna be new things on the market, etc. And yet when it comes to Doodle Bug, Lawn Fawn, Mama Elephant, etc. I hoard it. I have a huge, huge drawer full of Doodle Bug. <laughs> and it just makes me happy. I, it's a collection and yeah, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. But anyhow, anyhow. Um, pattern paper, stamp sets, coordinating dies, sprinkles, washi tape, the odds and ends, which I've really started just loving. So, Let's get right into the patterned paper first, which is always, of course, my absolute favorite. There we go. So yeah, Christmas Magic 24 double-sided, and it's, as always, completely adorable. I like the pop of yellow they added this year. It just gives it a little extra something, you know? And of course, all Doodlebug colors, that's really cute. So cute. Hearts, sprinkles, reindeer, elves. A bunch of mini tags. That's a cute idea because you could just slice and then nip off the little ends and you've got literally a ton of tags. 18 tags. That's a cute little idea. So that. Holy, more polka dots. Like just. Doodle bug always, always has the cutest stuff ever. So you get two of that. So technically you get two sheets of the tags. So that's really a cute idea. Love it. So there's that. And then we have the stamp sets. So we have the Santa's Sweets stamp set. So kind of like a gingerbread house. You know, from our house to yours, you're sweet. Like just really, really cute. There's a coordinating wafer die set for it as well, which is really nice because then you can, you know, die cut everything. So there's that. And then the other one is the Christmas Magic stamp sets. You got Santa, Mrs. Claus, got a couple of little elves, you got your tree, sentiments, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I heart Santa. <laughs> like really cute. Again, coordinating wafer dies for all of these images. So love that. And then we have um the stickers, so we've got the mini icons stickers as well as the large ones. So the regular size ones are more, just a little bit heavier, right? Like more kind of cardstocky. I always like the stickers because I usually add them to like the insides of my cards and whatnot, just to kind of zhuzh it up a bit. So yeah, really cute. And then the mini icons, so just a slightly smaller version of them. And you get two sheets with this one. So got stickers. We have 12 by 12 pattern paper, which I don't always get because yeah, it takes up a little more space to store 12 by 12 pattern paper. But I just, one, I like it sometimes for backgrounds when I'm taking pictures of my cards. I also like it if I do want to create like an envelope you know, 12 by 12 just makes life convenient because you can make your own little envelopes with it. And then it's also nice because it's very neutral. So it's just nice too for like layers and whatnot. So really cute. Just, you know, polka dots and kind of gingham sort of patterns and stripes, just simple. So yeah, can't go wrong with all the pattern paper. Then we've got, of course, the odds and ends. So you got the odds and ends, which are the die cut shapes, and then the chit chat, which are die cut a lot of sentiments. Each one has a ton. Like this one has 105 pieces. This one has 95. Like tons and tons. It's kind of ridiculous how many 
you get in a pack. And like they're huge because these are obviously more meant for like scrapbooking and whatnot because like look at this like so adorable. Absolutely adorable. Like tons of shapes and candy and little Santa Claus. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Little tree, great big tree. Like so many pieces. So we've got that's the odds and ends. I'll just kind of push those over there because I can get them back later. And then the chit chat has tons and tons of sentiments. Again, more geared towards like scrapbooking, obviously. Because there's just like there's banners, great big words. More banners. That's really cute. Banners and then yeah, like tons of Christmas Eve, Christmas to remember the year, Merry Christmas, all of this fun. So much fun. Oh dear. So yeah, just really cute stuff. More pieces like you could build your own banners. More like large label images. Like fun. Absolutely fun. There's that. There's, um, like I said, there's more sprinkle sets. I couldn't resist though getting the peppermint twist. I should have got more of these. <laughs> should have ordered more of these because that, yeah, my tendency to hoard them. But I just thought those were so cute. Little peppermint twist sprinkles. Uh, washi tape. I like using the washi tape more when I just, when I've sealed my envelope, I like to add, you know, the washi tape right over the back of the flap just to give it that little extra something. Um, so yeah, we've got like bows of holly washi tape. And then just this really cute um, candy stripe, you know, just simple, really adorable, absolutely love it. Um, I will link to everything, um, the other, like the Doodle Pop stickers, and I think there's more shape sprinkles, etc, etc. I'll have links to everything in the description box below the video, as well as on my blog. And on my blog, it's picture links, so you guys can see everything clearly that way. So if you're interested, just check that out in the description box below the video and then I'll have a link to my blog. The very first link will always be the link to my blog. So you guys can check that out if you're interested. Um, I do plan on sharing cards and tags and whatnot made using these, um, these goodies. But again, I'll have to fight against my tendency to want to just hoard it all because it's just adorable. But yeah, that's it for the moment. I will be back very soon with more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.